Yeah. Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Johnson Four here, bringing you some Call of Duty Mondays, and uh, today I'm bringing you guys a full gameplay of Black Ops One, and it's also literally just gonna show you how I used to play it back in the day. Even though I'm a little bit rusted in the in the gameplay, um, you know, it should give you some kind of an idea. And uh, the reason why is because I ended up getting like almost 30 kills in a team death match. Believe me, I got in 54 before. <laughs> and my teammates barely got like at least nine it was just insane so yeah i mean it should give you an idea uh, and and why i ended up in the top 15 in the whole world for both team deathmatch and domination so anyways uh one of the things i really want to talk about about my old school days in black ops 1 is that i you always used to get the first blood there was no way shape or form no way i would miss the first blood there was a point where i ended up getting like at least 80 first bloods in a row yeah <laughs> most of you guys are gonna be shocked i mean how the fuck do you even pull it off well before you can use grenades right at the beginning you know and uh i actually timed every single time we started a match i actually timed every single second every time i, I go into a section and i'm like all right when i'm spawning the other side i will count the same amount of time and i will throw a grenade up in the air and that's why i always ended up with the first blood because i calculated the time they'll get in some certain route and the time you know they'll be there and what kind of section that i always ended up getting the first blood after that i mean i just calculated everything very good that i still remember right now it's just everything into my mind recorded i just can't go without a match getting without first blood there's some points where yes you know because the motherfucker is wearing flag jacket that's why i'll sometimes miss the first blood but most of the time like at least 98 percent of the time i'll get first blood Anyways, another thing that I really want to talk about is about the feuds between me and the drop shotters. <laughs> I mean, it was just a big feud. I don't understand why drop shotters would get mad at me if I beat their ass real easily. I mean, I just don't understand it. That's what the that was the big thing back in Black Ops 1. Right now, the big thing is campers and glitchers. That's about it, and hackers. But back in the day, it used to be drop shotters and quick scopers. Well, Black Ops 1 had shitloads of drop shotters. I don't understand how people had pride in that i really didn't understand that i mean because it's just gave me is easy kills way too easy kills because it was way too easy to get headshots i literally got easy headshots but because people kept drop shotting on me i just never understand that concept i never did it i never tried it and i never will try it because i understand uh, because i think that's a terrible concept why the fuck would you drop shot that's a uh, that's like a 50 50 chance though you can get a either a headshot or you can just shoot your way out of it spray your ass out and get the kill somehow so um but for me you know most of the time it was a headshot so when those drop shotters would message me i'm like dude i beat your ass fair and square there's no way you can beat me because most of the time there was no way or shape or form i would get less than 25 kills and they will see that and it was just a, a huge chaotic you know scene and uh i just don't understand why they complain about it if you know they got outmatched by me and also another thing guys you know before i joined the clan finally in black ops 1 because the time it took me was like around till august yeah it was that kind of late and um i remember a guy told me why do you have such a high kd because before i used to have like around 2.75 kd as and that was my constant kd i never went under that and uh you know but why do you have a high kd but why do you have such a low win and loss ratio because i used to have like a 0 0.88 i never used to win and uh but still i was have the highest kd of the whole damn group and uh, i will tell them because i roll solo i was never interested in clans i was never I never had any friends in the PSN before. I never had anybody helping me out with that. Uh, you know, I just lose every single match because my teammates were terrible. I think it was because of the matchmaking or something. But yeah, I, I, I would always be in a terrible team. And um, so that's pretty much puts me in a, in a solo plate. Like, I'll just never have anybody around. So, um, so yeah, I mean, to give me more, you know, credit for my kills. Like, at least... 85% of the time I'll play solo and I'll do good by myself So yeah, that's explains it all That's why it explains why I have a high KD Why I have so many kills in each freaking match because 
I roll solo. I roll by myself. I just rush the shit out of everybody. That was my freaking motto back in Black Ops 1. Just rush the shit out of everybody and you'll do good. So anyways, um, that's about it, guys. I don't want to talk about my old Black Ops 1 stories. You know, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Understand what I used to do back in the day. And also a little bit of a plus. A lot of people told me that the AK-74U was a glitchy gun. I really don't think so, though. And people are laughing at my rapid fire. I'm like, dude, it's in the fucking game. It's not a glitchy attachment either. So, yeah, that goes to the fucking guy who put a comment earlier in, the, in my videos saying that, oh, you use the AK-74 with, with rapid fire? LOL, zitter. I'm like, what the fuck? It's just the AK-74 with a fucking rapid fire. It's not a glitchy ass gun or whatever you thought it, you thought it was. And if you think that's terrible, well, think again. This fucking gun brought me to the top 15 in the whole world for both domination and team deathmatch. So you ought to slap yourself. <laughs> so anyways, uh, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay, and I'll see you guys later, and enjoy your day.